most devastating moment was Michael Venom Page's flying knee KO versus Evangelista Cyborg Santos. Cyborg ended up with a fractured skull from the strike. <laughs> Michael Page says, I'd like to express my best wishes to Cyborg and his family as he's currently being held in hospital for a fractured skull and will be undergoing surgery. Please may I ask that you join me in donating towards his GoFundMe page. Link to the GoFundMe page in the description of this video. Cyborg, who used to be married to Cyborg, had some kind words for Cyborg. Fight fans, please say a prayer for my ex-husband Cyborg Santos. Many of you watched him fight on Spike TV this weekend when he suffered this injury while fighting in London. Cyborg is still in the hospital in the UK and they're not sure when he'll be able to fly again. He hasn't had surgery yet and there's worry the brain can continue to swell causing more damage. Click the link in my bio to donate to his GoFundMe and support him and his family at this time. Thank you God for your protection. The doctor said this very easily could have been life threatening. Please show your support for the fighters and share. Joe Rogan says this is the worst MMA injury I've ever seen. Best wishes and a speedy recovery to Cyborg. Santos is 38 years old and has been fighting since 1997 which is half of his life. Michael Page is 11-0 in MMA. 10 of those wins are by stoppage, 9 of them in the first round. Fans want to see him take a step up in competition and compete in the UFC, but Page is happy in Bellator and Bellator is happy with his highly entertaining style of fighting. And the current trend is fighters not going from Bellator to the UFC, but the other way around. With fighters like Benson Henderson and Matt Mitrione migrating from the UFC to Bellator. How you feeling? Living the dream. Living the dream. And with Roy McDonald being a free agent, Bellator is also trying to bring him into the fold. Bellator's next big show features Ben Henderson versus Patricio Pitbull on August 26. The USC's next show on Saturday will include the return of Gilbert Melendez after a year's suspension for using PEDs as he takes on Edson Barboza. Some interesting MMA clips which emerged over the weekend. Rafion starts after winning in victory fighting championships. Give me my chance! Andrea Lee filming her friend Jeremy Fike in his MMA debut, but he got stopped. Strap, shit. Come on, Jeremy! Let's go, Jeremy! Well, the first round was really, really good. But he let that go for a little bit, a lot longer than he normally does. Normally he stops the fights a lot sooner than that for amateur, so. But he did good. He really did. But he did good. Jeremy just froze up. Yeah. Yeah. Tiago Tavares posts this image of John Lineker after his KO over Michael McDonald. 46% of Lineker's wins are by KO or TKO. And Frank Mir punching Chris Angel. I hit him as hard as I can without breaking my hand. I hit him as hard as I can without breaking my hand.